What's up, everybody? It's Monday. It is tax day. We're going to do Monday Methods of Decima. It is April 15th, and we are now entering Chapter 3 about establishing titles. So let's dive right in and see where the chapter takes us. <clears throat> Verse 1. In every case of war, establish the positions of nobility, distinguish between success and failure, admit traveling experts with the subtitle, uh, let's see, with the footnote, the Warring States period created a class of stateless wanderers made up of nobles who had defected from their state. They were people of varying talents, martial, technical, and, and administrative, who could offer their services to any state. Clearly, state one's teachings and instructions, inquire after your people, request the aid of those who are skilled, only then should you consider killing. Overcome the people's aversions and rid them of doubt. Cultivate strength and seek out adeptness. Act according to the people's hearts. So what I think stands out to me is the traveling experts, right? These are people who have defected from their state and can offer their services to any state, meaning that skills pay the bills, right? Seek out adeptness. Act according to the people's hearts, right? Because if you're not acting according to the people's hearts, then you're going to get these people who leave your state, thus weakening you so this means to me as like being a leader when i'm trying to lead my employees right establish between success and failure and establish the positions of nobility nobility doesn't have to be nobility nobility can be leadership the people who choose to go who, who choose to do things that not everyone chooses to do right because being a leader is not easy and so Request the aid of those who are skilled, right? When you're in this position, in every case of war, establish the positions of nobility, distinguish between success and failure, clearly state one's teachings and instructions, inquire after your people. You have to care for your people at all times. Request the aid of those who are skilled. That is that is important. And I think that, you know, most most everything in life, with having an advisor, you can you can call upon and get their experience uh, has been valuable to me. April 15th, pay your taxes out of the Daily Stoic by Ryan Holiday and Stephen Hanselman. Nothing will ever befall me that I will receive with gloom or a bad disposition. I will pay my taxes gladly. Now all things which cause complaint or dread are like the taxes of life. Things from which, my dear Lucilius, you should never hope for exemption or seek escape. Seneca, Moral Letters, 96.2, right? You can't get away from it. You can't, so like, regardless of what my view is on taxes, I think they're a necessary evil in order to have a civilized society that is protected and governed by people that we choose to put there. Now, the people that we have chosen to put there, whether we've chosen or not, whether that's through corruption or not, but at the same time, taxes are, taxes are the cost of living in a first world civilized society and staying out of all of that other stuff tyranny and worse nihilism chaos okay as your income taxes come due you might be like many people complaining at what you have to fork over to the government 40 percent of everything i make goes to these people and for what First off, taxes go to a lot of programs and services you almost certainly take for granted. Second, you think you're so special? People have been complaining about their taxes for thousands of years and now they're dead. Get over it. Third, this is a good problem to have. Far better than, say, making so little there's nothing left to pay the government or living in an anarchy and having to pay for every basic service in a struggle against nature. Right? So your water, your roads, your water, your water supply is filtered by the government. And that's an important thing to understand because if you treat your government workers badly, they're the ones effing around with your water supply. All right. But more important, income taxes are not the only taxes that you pay in life. They are just the financial form. Everything we do has a toll attached to it. Waiting around is a tax on traveling. Rumors of gossip are the taxes that come from acquiring a public persona. Disagreements and occasional frustrations are taxes placed on even the happiest of relationships. 
Theft is a tax on abundance and having things that other people want. Theft is a tax on ab uh, stress and problems are tariffs that come attached to success. And on and on and on. Life is always a trade-off. In so many forms. There are many forms of taxes in life. You can argue with them. You can go to great but ultimately futile lengths to evade them. Or you can simply pay them and enjoy the fruits of what you keep. Right? Just get it done and move on. Spending every year, every, you know, just toiling away and, and worrying about all of that when, you know, there's so much, so much going on. You just get over it, right? Those people died. They complained about it and they're dead. What good does you complaining about it do? Because if you don't want to pay taxes, go somewhere where there's no taxes. It's not that hard to leave this country these days, right? You can just get a passport and you can just go. Or you can pay the taxes that supports your military, your police force, your firefighters, cleans your water supply, gives you the roads, and ultimately gives you the freedom to do a lot of things that you probably couldn't do in places where there is no tax. So let's just keep that in mind as we go forward, right? In all cases of war, you have to distinguish between what is the nobility, chaos, and order, and all of the stuff that is in the methods of the, of the SEMA. And so, if you're complaining about taxes, where does that put you? You're defining yourself as not the nobility. The nobility, they pay their taxes and they don't worry about it because they've got bigger fish to fry, right? So, what is your view on it and just going ahead and accepting the fact that tax is here to stay regardless and it has been here long before you were here and just accepting it for what it is can really, really, really take a lot of stress out of things. And with that less stress, it gives you more focus to enjoy what you do have and take what you do have to build more. Get taxed more, but you still have more and you're building more. And that's good for everyone.